we can specify how and when our custom item appears in the shortcut menu of front panel or block diagram objects. We can also create plugins that build the shortcut menu by adding custom items conditionally to object class, toggling the transaction behavior of plugins, adding multiple custom items and removing items. So let's go uh, and load the utility VI that NI provides with the lab view which is found in National Instruments, Program Files, then National Instruments, then the lab view version we are using, then the resources, resource, then uh, plugins, pop-up menus, and there is the utility called create shortcut menu plugin from template. Let's launch it. Let's specify the name of the plugin. plugin. Let's call it test. Second, let's specify that the edit time, the menu will be available uh, during edit time for front panel and diagram and to open the plugin VIs after creation. Let's run the VI. And our Now VIs are being uh, generated. We should not modify the controls that are assigned to the connector pane terminals. To load and execute plugins, LabVIEW requires these predefined control name types and terminal positions. So this is the VI, test VI. Let's go to its block diagram. Uh, this VI creates the shortcut menu plugins from template VI that the template VI generates. We modify the block diagram code to build the shortcut menu. And there are these uh, comments uh, that uh, guide us in the process. It has some controls and some constants. So we can leave this menu item display name empty to add a menu separator bar. By default, this, uh, this VI takes the name of the VI and then takes the file name of this VI which is test.vi and removes the extension and then passes it on to this control as menu item display name. So when we right click, test will appear as the menu item. If the menu item tag suffix is left blank, 
the suffix will be assumed to be same text as the menu item display name. We only need to assign it if we create multiple menu items in one plugin. Next is the transaction control. Transaction control determines whether LabVIEW should start a transaction if this menu item is picked. And there are two entries in it. LabVIEW auto wraps execution VI and execution VI will define if needed. It, next is the position in menu. By default, the position in menu will put the menu item right before properties. or as the last item in the menu if properties is not in that menu. And there are other options beside before is instead of, after or into a sub menu. Then we have the check mark uh, status which is checked unchecked by default or checked. Then the enable status which is enabled or disabled. And by default, this VI will add a menu item with the same name as our plugin, which in our case is test. If we want to change it or add additional menu items, we can add the code over here. The name of the execute VI, by default, it is execute followed by the name of our plugin, which in our case is test. The name of the execute VI can be different for different menu items if we desire. Instead of a VI, we can use the path to a .mnu file, which will make that menu as a null uh, right, uh, write-off of this item. So the default configuration of this VI builds the shortcut menu by adding our custom item before the properties item. The display name of the custom item is the name of this VI without the file extension. And let's go to the uh, front panel. There are a few, few controls. Rules a pop-up plugin must follow. This VI's file name must match the file name of the LLB. Only the file extension should be different. This VI must have debugging disabled or it will be ignored as a plugin, which we can see by going to the block diagram and seeing that debugging is disabled. Debugging toolbar is not available. For all menu items, tag suffix plus file name of this VI must be less than 240 characters. We can disconnect the affected items, this one, from the type def to make the plugin load faster. The type def is only there to assist us in keeping this VI and the execution VI using the same type. All controls on this panel, except the affected items, this one, are locked to prevent accidental edits. Do not change the types or the names of controls other than the elements inside the affected items cluster. So let's use the context help to get more information about this VI. This VI is part of a plugin for modi modifying the LabVIEW shortcut menus. This is the Builder VI, which is called when the shortcut menu is built. It tells LabVIEW which shortcut menu item to add to the menu. Here we have a menu refnum, which specifies a refnum to the shortcut menu of the front panel and block diagram objects in affected items. User VI ref specifies a refnum to the VI on which the user right clicked. 
Affected items specifies the ref name types of the front panel and block diagram objects that the plugin affects. This control is a type definition that we define in the control file. The type definition ensures the plugin VIs use the same object type. We can disconnect affected items from the type definition to make the plugin load faster. And where is the type definition? It is this one here. The remaining item specifies the ref name types of the front panel and block diagram objects that are not in affected items. Mouse position specifies the location on the panel or diagram where the user clicked. This position is given in the coordinates of the panel or diagram. Is multi-select specifies whether this right click occurred on a single object or on a selection containing multiple objects. This value will always be false for plugins affecting the runtime diagram. And menu items to add indicator array uh, add code to this set out, uh, of uh, output values so that uh, it describes the menu item that should be added to the shortcut menu so let's see how this uh, appears let's create uh, let's go to our this VI. Let's go to his front panel, add some control, and let's right click. And our test is not being shown because for that we will have to restart the lab view. To show the menu without restarting lab view, let's go to the uh, reference and ch choose this application for lab view reference let's go to the method let's go to menu and then refresh so that our menus are refreshed without restarting lab view let's run the VI Now let's right click and there is our new menu. So we can go to this test VI where it is specifying the name of the menu and we can change it let's say to example plugin let's save it and if we now come back and we try to right click lab view will complain that the vi test vi has changed on disk since last saved or loaded by lab view if you load its front panel it will probably be inconsistent with parts of the VI already in memory resulting in a corrupt vi and it will not show the new name so let's run the VI so that the menus are refreshed without re uh, closing the lab view and then relaunching it again so let's run so that this method is called and the menus are refreshed and now if we right click you will see that our new plugin is available it will not do anything since we have not programmed it but it's available. 